Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the step-by-step -step implementation of these two types of forms. That is one is reactive form and also another one is template driven form. So for this one, I have created a new project. So Angular 18 hyphen forms. So routing is finished, right? So here I am creating, create, create in this way. So fine, let's try to create the reactive form. So reactive forms require require you to define the form structure directly in the component class offering more control over form state and validation so we'll try to show you one by one for the first uh, first step what we need to do it is we need to create a new angular component so we'll create a standalone angular component using the reactive approach so for this one what i am trying to do is ng gc reactive form okay so i am using something like this reactive form so let us create the from here and in our app component.html file so what i would be trying to do is i will delete this entire thing app hyphen react to so it will take some time to create let it create so here it has been created so now i will be using the app hyphen react to hyphen form so for this one in our app.component.ts file in the imports we need to add the react form component if you try to see here we are able to see so it's fine now what I would be trying to do it is in our app component uh, reactive form in our reactive form component.ts file and here also reactive form.html file. So fine. So now what I would be trying to do it is so here you will be green writing so just simple favorite color. So I want to uh, add this one in a reactive form way. I want to implement this one in reactive form way. Fine. And now here I'll be having a div file. I will be having a simple div. And in this one, I will be having an input type is equal to text. Sorry, type is equal to text. That's it. So this is our simple text file. So now here in this one, I want to show the favorite color. That's it. So now here, whatever the input input data I am trying to write it here automatically the data should be shown at the next to the favorite color so for this one what we need to do is first of all we need to define this define the data so here i will i will explain you one by one favorite color control is equal to new form control i told you right so each form control so by the default value is this one so the default value now this one you can take it and here in this one what i need to do it is so form control Form control form control is equal to I can use it something like is equal to I can use the same like this. Now if you try to see cannot bind to form control since it is an unknown property. So this directory it cannot able to understand it. For this one, what I need to do it is so here I need to import the reactive sorry reactive forms module. That's it. So you can import the reactive forms module. Fine. Now, if whatever whatever the thing I am trying to write it here, we are not able to see it, right? So here I will try to implement in such a way that favorite color control dot value. That's it. Now, if you try to see the output for this one, so whatever the data I am trying to write it, so we are able to see at the bottom. So here form control initialization favorite control favorite color control is a form control instance. Okay, it is an instance. So new form control is an instance or an object, whatever it may be. It's initialized with an empty string empty. This setups reactive control for the input field. Binding to the template. The form control, the directive, which we have used it here. So binds the control instance, favorite color control to the input element in HTML. This setup synchronizes the control value and the validation status with the input field. Note, in reactive forms, the component class holds the truth or truth for form values, allowing greater control and directive access to the form state. So this is the one thing. And the next setup which we will try to see it is the template driven form. So how we can implement the same scenario in the template form. So I am trying to write the template form here. So let us create the component for this template form. So template driven form simplifies simplify form control management by using angular directives like ng model directly in the template, making them ideal for the simpler scenarios. So let's try to see this one. For this one what I will try to do is so here I will use app iphone template oh sorry app iphone template iphone form so i am using the app template event form and here in our app.component.tsql so i have used it so here you will be able to see the template form works 
and I am removing this form reactive form control. So here I am using the template form component .ts file and also here also template form control .html file. Okay. So these are the two things. And now here I will use the H3 same thing favorite color, but this time this will be of template form. Okay. So the same thing, so which I would be trying to implement this one is, so we will be having the same development and I will be having the same input type is equal to text and but this time, so what we need to do is instead of using the form control, so we need to use the ng model, okay, directly we need to use it directly like this. So ng model we need to use it and you can directly use the name whichever the name you want. So here I am using the favorite color, that's it. Now if I want to show this one in the paragraph favorite color is equal to so here I need to use the favorite color that's it so the variable same variable I am trying to use it but this one is not working by default it will not work so what we need to do it is so here we need to import the forms module okay that's it finished forms module has been included and here it is asking that property favorite color is not there okay so let's try to implement this favorite color so favorite color is equal to empty by default I will mention it as an empty that's it now if you try to see here we are able to see the temp favorite color and whatever the data I am writing here the same implementation we are able to see but this time we have implemented this one using the template driven approach. So these are the two different ways how we will be implementing. So explanation of this one is two way data binding first one is. So favorite color is a regular variable. So this one if you try to observe it's a regular variable and the ng model directive. So this ng model directive binds to the input element. This creates and manages a form control instance implicitly. So template based management template driven forms rely on the template to manage form states. So here the completely it is relying on the template thing which means the form structure is implicit. This is best suited for the simpler forms where the component class does not need full control over the structure. So if the component doesn't need if this component class doesn't need full control over the component form structure means then we can use the template driven form. So note that in template driven forms the view template holds the truth that view or the template holds the truth form for values that's that's it so the the key difference between this one is the setup wise reactive forms explicitly in the component class with the form control so here in our reactive forms we will be using reactive forms let's open this up. so explicitly we are designing the forms using the form control whereas there we are using it for the ng model data flow so this the total is in synchronous way there it is in a synchronous way Validation. So define in the component validator itself. So you can if you want to define the uh, validators means you can define in the component class itself. There you need to define using the directives in the template which we will try to see in the upcoming videos. Scalability. Better for complex forms and reusable components. This one is better for complex forms and reusable components. Whereas uh, template driven forms are good for simpler and non reusable forms. So that's it guys about this uh, template driven forms and reactive forms basic example. I have shown you the demonstration how what is the difference between these two. So choosing between the reactive and the template driven forms depends on the forms complexity and your control needs. Reactive forms provide more directive access and, and are better for large applications while template driven forms are simpler and useful for quick setups with fewer controls. This is what about the difference between reactive and the template forms. Hope you understood about this concept. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.